Hi there. In this quick video, let's check out how to set up WinUAE for full screen. You can see I'm using the previous version, 3.5, and hopefully by the time you get to see this, 3.6 will have come out. And you can see this is the default setup which appears when you first install the package, and you can see all the configurations are blank. But this being the default setup, this is how to set up virtually any Amiga 500 game in Win UAE and I'm just going to select OCS mode because that's the original chipset no idea why it defaults to ECS and so let's move through the advanced can stay as they are that's fine and the ROM is Kickstart 1.3 and of course the RAM the Amiga 500 have half a meg plus half a meg in a trapdoor and well, I'm going to switch off the second drive just to save myself a little bit more memory. And this is where we insert the ADFs that we found on the internet. And so that's how to set up from the default. All the rest are stock values, as you can see, we don't have to bother with those. But in the display tab, you can see it defaults to a number of settings. And I'd certainly recommend setting this up to the default Amiga high resolution output with overscan and that's 720 times 576 so let's change it to 720 times 576 on both of these outputs and for now we'll leave the rest of the items on the stock values moving on to the sound you can more or less ignore those unless you want a disk drive sound the joysticks it will find those automatically i all we can ignore it so can input and output as well and so here we are at the filter tab and by default it selects default which is basically no filter whatsoever we can pull down a menu which brings up that option and we can have no scaling if we like but the default option will do exactly the same thing so if we start that up and insert a workbench disk this is what we'll see on the default setup of win uae and after a while the kickstart kicks in and you can see that this screen is not even censored and it has apparently a big space all the way around it because it's ncsc workbench booting in pal mode and you can see that it has some offset which apparently is in the amiga but i'm not quite sure whether we had to adjust our monitors back in the day you can see a big space underneath and that well really gives away the fact that a lot of space was missing in some games so finally the workbench does load from that disc and we can get to check that out Bench 1.3 with the default setup looks very much like this and you can see that some things could be changed in order to optimize this display and back in the day we could change our horizontal and vertical hold and we could stretch that out just a little bit but we can also emulate those things in the emulator and the best thing to do if you remember the old style tvs is to select that mode in the filter tab and so selecting the tv option in this case will mean that's a lot bigger you can see in this mode it's trimmed off the edges and it's centered everything just a little bit and with tv on maximum it basically returns us back to the default setting again and so TV mode isn't too bad and so you can see the auto center option is a little bit like the TV and it gives us a nice short border around the entire screen so automatic centering is another one of those options and yes we can manually change the horizontal and vertical on the settings as well There are a number of other options one of those is the automatic resize option which if you select that it will automatically resize it to the actual screen which has been output without any border whatsoever and it will automatically resize the entire screen to that size and that's slightly different from the automatic scaling option which usually automatically scales the image up to full size and is the option that i usually use 
You can see with the automatic scaling option, it manages to fit everything on the screen without a border, and it's the full screen height, and it's in 4.3, which means automatically the scaling of the picture is in 4.3 on your display. And that's great, but unfortunately it's a bit jaggy, so if we increase the filter to 1, you can see all the jaggy lines in the workbench image have disappeared and everything's nice and smooth. To switch on the bilinear filter, you'll have to have DirectX 9 installed, that's DirectX 2010, and you must also select the Direct 3D output in the miscellaneous tab. WinUAE without any filters or on default or on no filters or whatever you want to call it, TV Max or automatic centering, this is basically what it looks like with a big black border around everything. And because these games were actually developed in NTSC mode, these particular ones will have an extra black border above and below those. But if you switch the setting to automatic scaling, it means it will automatically resize to the entirety of that screen, but maintain the 4-3 aspect ratio. On the default setting, you can see the title screen of Cannon Fodder is in PAL with only a slight border, but moving on to the game itself, you can see it's been coded yet again with black borders, and that means that it was virtually compatible with American machines in NTSC who got to see this in full screen mode. And that's how we got to see it on a PAL computer with a border, and that's how most people remember a lot of these games. But many PAL games were actually coded in the NTSC screen ratio, so they lazily didn't have to convert those over to America. And so, if we select the auto scaling option, we can see the screen in full size, which fits the full screen window yet again in 4 3. see that many of the games in the Lemon Top 100 suffer from the Black Bar scenario, in fact maybe as many as 50% which claim to be PAL games are actually coded in NTSC and have those black borders around that screen. And you can see on the default setup if you don't change the filter it will look a bit like this and this is something like the output of the game you can see it's in quite wide screen there but if we change it to automatic scaling then it will scale to 4.3 in full screen and that really does make a huge difference when you get rid of those borders. Some games look like that they should be able to work in NTSC mode, and yes, we can still auto scale those back up to 4 3 to get rid of those borders. And if you think that that looks rather stretched and rather unlike the PAL experience that we had in Europe playing these very games, which were actually coded in Europe, well, that's because they are actually the right size on an NTSC computer. And just to prove that, let's switch into NTSC mode and reboot the machine. And now we will get to see the same display only at 400 pixels height. And now if we run the same game again, IK+, Plus, we will find that the game now runs full screen. Unfortunately, this PAL version of the game, the timings are slightly off on the NTSC version, and that means the sound effects won't quite work. But apart from the sound effects, you can see the game is there in full screen, and that's what Americans got to play this game. IK Plus, that's how they got to see it, and so they had a bigger, squarer resolution than we had in the UK. And so let's take a look at an American game, what that looked like on our screens without any cropping of the board. Borders. You can see Test Drive 2, there is the black borders, and you can see that this is our PAL experience on a PAL machine. The 
this is what test drive 2 look like on the Palamiga and you can see those borders and you can see that the game actually ran rather much slower than it did in NTSC mode because it only ran at 50 megahertz and you can see it was the auto resize it will go back to the NTSC default which is 400 pixels high and you can see that that is actually not quite 43 it's more like well it's slightly longer but if you want to see that's how the american public saw it then we'll have to on this display mode change back to full screen overscan which to my book is 720 times 576 and that is a 4-3 aspect ratio and that means that we get to see the screen fully without any borders whatsoever and we also get to play the game and hopefully if it's in NTSC mode as well we get to play that game just a little bit quicker Hopefully now we can see the importance of a full screen display. Now we will look at the mega full screen display with the Lotus games. And you can see in windowed mode, again just with the default setup or with any other filters, it will virtually display like this with the borders. And Lotus 1, unlike Lotus 2, is actually an NCC compatible screen display. And so if you switch that over to automatic rescale, it will rescale the whole thing as we have seen to full screen. But what if you are playing this not in windowed mode but in full screen mode? Well, this is the setting you need to observe in the filter tab. Basically, if you have no scaling whatsoever, you'll get all the black borders in full screen mode just like we've seen already and your display will look like this. But if you turn on the automatic scaling and change the aspect ratio to 4-3 then what will happen to your amazing scale is it will go to 4-3 ratio at full screen height. mode that I record all of the lemon footage in, full screen 4.3 and as you can see it's crisp and if we make a mistake and we choose no scaling and 16.9 aspect ratio then it won't scale it vertically, it will only scale it horizontally and so you can see it's a very stretched out screen. So what you have to do is select the automatic scaling and the screen aspect ratio and then your output will be in 4.3. But, just in case you wanted that full screen, if you switch off the 169 and just have the automatic scaling, then what we have instead is a full screen experience on your entire screen. And if you have a projector or a massive TV, this is probably the way to play most games. for viewing another quick guide and I hope this has helped you to understand the scaling issue. If you have scaling you'll gain the height and if you select the aspect ratio of your screen then it will scale it into 4.3 based on that ratio. So if you have 69 select 69. Thank you very much.